This is Laila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. In this video, you will learn how to color paper for origami and other paper craft projects. Many people ask me what paper is good for origami. The short answer is that most papers are good for origami. The long answer is that it depends on what kind of matter we want to fold and it takes some experimentation and practice. As a general rule, the best paper to begin with is paper that is thin. Office paper or paper that we have at home to use with our printer is just good. In this video, you will learn one of my techniques for coloring office paper. I will also explain how to create paper for four specific origami models. The link for each video tutorial on how to fold these models will appear on the screen as we move along. You can also find these links in the video description below. Materials, office paper, oil pastels, turpentine or mineral spirits, cotton balls, and cotton swabs. I'm sure that you will find these uh, techniques very useful. I thank you for your likes and your comments, and I hope you enjoy it. Coloring the paper for this butterfly will illustrate the general technique of applying the color and creating soft pattern. This is a regular office piece of paper from which a square can be cut. Here I have a square. We are going to use two colors. First, we are going to apply one layer of blue. We just apply it loosely. At this point, I take uh, the turpentine or mineral spirits. I have only a little bit in this jar, so I tilt the jar so that the turpentine wets the side. Then I put it back vertically. I dampen the cotton ball against the wet side of the jar. I don't dunk it or it will be too wet. I apply first at the center in a circular motion. I may apply a second layer. With purple, I will color the corners. And I'm, I'm going to do it symmetrically, just by eye. We apply lighter colors first and go progressively darker. And I will add four circles about here symmetrically to add pattern. Some here too. And then with a new piece of cotton The color will become more even as the paper dries. At the back, I am adding some purple color to the edges. And also to the center. So 
So this will be the front and this will be the back. Folding instructions for this butterfly can be found on this YouTube channel. A link to the video might be found in the description section of this video. Coloring paper for this carambola model will illustrate details of color application and using the pentagonal geometry of the paper. Here I am using a pentagon cut from green office paper. To smooth the color in a more delicate fashion, we can use a cotton swab. Notice how the geometry of the paper is followed as I color. We apply lighter colors first and go progressively darker. Color can be reapplied to reach the desired strength. Here are two different color patterns. Notice how the centers of these two patterns look on the finished models. Folding instructions for this model can be found on Sarah Adams' YouTube channel. A link to her video might be found in the description section of this video. Assemblage instruction for a Kusudama can be found on this YouTube channel. Find the link in the description section of this video. Coloring paper for Ifis Rose will illustrate further details in color application and using the basic geometry of a square paper. I prefolded this white square, making a grid, which is the first step for this rose. A light pink color is applied on the edge. I trace an inner folded square. On the back, color is applied to the edge too, and the central square is fully colored. On the front, a fine red line is applied on the edge. On the inner square also. The original color of these papers was white, red and yellow. The color was applied only on the edges. Folding instructions for this rose are found on Tadachi Mori's YouTube channel. Find the link to his tutorial in the description of this video.
This section will illustrate making color gradation and coloring several strips at once. I will be coloring four pieces. Each piece of paper will be different color. First, I will apply two different tones of yellow to one piece of paper, beginning with the lighter one. And we go beyond the center a little bit. The two colors should overlap. Once we have this, uh, we proceed to smooth the color with some turpentine. I dampen the cotton on the side of the jar. These spots will even out as the paper dries. For the next paper, I will apply the same yellow as the previous one. I will apply some red and a different kind of red. I'll begin again using the previous ball. Where the red and the yellow overlap, we get orange. At this point, we can change the cotton ball for a brand new one, so that this area doesn't have any of the yellow. So far we have two papers. One is the continuation in color of the other. Now we are going to make one that continues this color. So we'll use that and we'll place it together with a purple. I use the ball that I use when I finish this part. And at the end here, we use a brand new piece of cotton. Then we begin one last one with the same purple here. And then we choose some blue, another blue, a little bit of green if we want. So we begin with the same as here. To make each star, I took two strips from each colored piece of paper. For the one with yellow center, I started with two strips, which were lightest in color. Folding instructions for this star are found on Joe Nakashima's YouTube channel. Find the link to his tutorial in the description of this video. This coloring technique can be used on many different kinds of papers. In an upcoming video, I will feature models made with hand-colored onion skin paper. Subscribe to this channel and come back for some more fun with origami.